If you guys didn't hear the huge news last week coming from Bank of America, they are getting a little bit, or I should say a lot of backlash. What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with another video this week. And this week is going to be a topic of discussion that we've seen or a lot of people have seen over the last week or so. Now, if you didn't hear the news, Bank of America is coming out with a new first time home buyer program, which is called the Community Affordable Loan Solution, which will launch in predominantly black and Hispanic areas. Now, if you are like most people, especially in our society nowadays, you see a headline and you assume that to be completely true. However, a lot of people saw the headlines when this came out and they didn't even bother reading the fine detail. But before we get into the nitty gritty details and just how this program is going to work. There are a couple aspects that are going to be quite different than a lot of other loan programs out there. First things first, you're not going to have a minimum credit score requirement. Now you may think it's absolutely insane to consider a mortgage application with, first of all, a no down payment option. Now with the no down payment, it does allow a barrier of entry of owning a home far easier than putting a three or 5% down payment. For instance, if you're looking at a $400,000 house and a 5% down can conventional loan, you add in closing costs and other miscellaneous lender underwriting fees, you're talking north of potentially $40,000 as a first time home buyer to put down 5% for a conventional loan. And to be honest with you, not many folks can scrounge around for $40,000 to buy their first house. Now for this option, it does allow a 0% down payment. And as I mentioned before, no credit score requirement, but there are going to be other requirements within the loan process. The Community Affordable Loan Solution is a special purpose credit program, which uses credit guidelines based on factors such as timely rent, utility bill, phone and auto insurance payments and it requires no mortgage insurance or minimum credit score as I mentioned before. Individual eligibility is based on income and home location. Prospective buyers must complete a home buyer certification course provided by the Select Bank of America and HUD approved housing counseling partners prior to application. Now, the big thing here is the fact that this particular and a lot of the headlines that came out was basically saying that this loan option is only going to be for African American or Hispanic individuals. Now, the downside again to headlines is they need you to click that link. They need you to click that picture. They want clicks. The more clicks and the more time you spend on their website means more ad revenue for themselves. Now, if you looked at the fine print, Yes, it's predominantly African-American and Hispanic areas, but this loan program is available for all ethnicities. Now you're probably wanting to know where this particular loan program is going to be available in. I can tell you it's gonna be in Dallas, Charlotte, as well as Detroit, LA, and Miami. Obviously, these are the current cities that it's going to be offered in. I would make a strong assumption that these are the initial cities and eventually Bank of America is going to offer this in much more cities than it currently does, but that's just the current state of the loan process. So the biggest thing with this loan program is specific to communities and neighborhoods that actually Bank of America will lend on. So one example is if you try to use a USDA loan in the surrounding areas of Dallas, Fort Worth, especially Dallas itself. For instance, if I got an offer on a contract for a house that I have in Dallas and it was a USDA loan. Unfortunately, USDA is not possible in the city of Dallas. Now there are areas outside of Dallas and outside of our Metroplex that obviously allow USDA loans, but USDA, if you look it up, has a bricked out and excluded area for a majority of the heavily populated areas of Dallas Fort Worth. Now this is very similar to this loan process as well, where there are only going to be certain communities and neighborhoods that this loan can be applicable in. And we're not just talking Dallas, Again, as I mentioned before, we're talking Charlotte, Miami, LA, and the other cities that Bank of America is going to lend on. Now, the downside to this is obviously the headline that came across basically all social platforms and websites. As I mentioned before, they very, very much want you to click, as we call clickbait oftentimes on YouTube. They want you to click this video. They want you to click this article and not really read the fine print, but understand that, hey, Bank of America is bad. Bank of America is racist. Bank of America is uh, a bad company or, you know, depending on which way you want to look at it, a good company because they only allow you to lend if you're, you know, Hispanic or if you're African American or if you are white, whatever ethnicity. In this case, it uh, is open, as I mentioned before, to all races, all ethnicities. It only is going to be available to use though, however, in certain areas that yes, 
are heavily Hispanic and heavily African American communities. Now, if you're wondering why Bank of America is putting out a loan that's gonna favor African Americans or gonna favor Hispanics, there is a rhyme and a reason to everything, especially if you're a large company such as Bank of America. Obviously, this is going to very much help them with all of the traffic that they've gotten from the news articles putting this stuff out as well as all the posts on social media, but there is a rhyme and a reason to this. Now, according to the latest results coming from the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, there is a 30% gap between home ownerships of African Americans and white individuals. Now, if you're comparing Hispanics to white individuals, there is a 20% gap between the two. So this is very much trying to thin that gap from the massive difference in home ownership gap of African Americans and Hispanics versus white individuals. So the grand scheme of things here is yes, it's going to be a loan program that is going to heavily benefit African Americans and Hispanics. And that's very, very much needed with that significant gap that I just mentioned. Now also too, if you think of communities, this is just from a personal perspective of mine. If you think about communities, if you're looking at single individual areas that are very heavily populated with rental properties, those communities oftentimes aren't taken care of as well. I know me personally being a landlord, I have some tenants that definitely take care of my properties and treat it like their own. But I think honestly, there's not gonna be anyone that's going to disagree with me. And maybe, you know, maybe you are that one person that does. But generally speaking, you're gonna take far better care of a house that is yours than a house that you are particularly renting. Now, let's say this loan option does help build out those communities that are heavily African American and Hispanic. And you start to bring individuals that have a very, very tough time purchasing homes and coming up with that down payment and having a high enough credit score to purchase a home. And you start turning these communities into actual home owned areas rather than very heavily rented population areas, you're gonna start to very much turn these areas into a much nicer neighborhood altogether. So yes, once again, if you heard the news, I advise you highly, regardless of what news article you may see, read the fine print because yes, headlines will always show you, hey, Bank of America, African Americans and Hispanics only, and it's going to cause a ruckus just like it has in the past week. But read the fine print, it's very much open to all ethnicities. However, it is focused primarily on dominant African American and Hispanic communities for the sole reason of helping them with home ownership, especially with the significant gap and difference in home ownership that I just discussed. If you love real estate content, or if you're looking to get into real estate investing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm a former high school teacher turned real estate coach, investor, and agent in the past five years. It's absolutely changed my life. My intent is to be able to educate you. So again, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to go ahead and do that. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.